Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and welcome to the start of my PNR readathon vlog. So this is actually Avery a week after the readathon, um, but I just wanted to pop on here before the video and um, welcome everybody. I've gained a bunch of new subscribers recently and that's all thanks to Jess from Peace Love Books who very kindly and wonderfully shouted me out. So thank you so much, Jess. You're honestly the reason why I hit 3,000 subscribers, so thank you so, so much. I love you very much. If you don't know about Jess from Peace Love Books, how can you not in this romance book community? So please go check her out. I'm linking her down below, but she made a shout out video and um, of all of her favorite romance booktubers, and I was in it, and oh, it was, I love you. <laughs> um, so thank you so much. You're why I have all these new friends now on my channel. Um, so if you are new here, hello, I'm Avery. It's been a while since I've posted a video. Um, I get into reasons why while you watch. Um, main reason, school. Um, I have one week left and then it's finals. So it has been crazy. This readathon maybe wasn't the best idea for me to participate in because it was so close to the end of term, but I still participated. I really wanted to support my wonderful, wonderful friends who are putting on this readathon. If you want to know my full entire TBR for this video, I'm linking my TBR down below that you can go check out. Um, I don't read everything on my TBR in this video. That's normal for me though. I tend to stray from TBRs. Just by the way, also if you're new to my channel, my vlogs aren't normally like this. Um, I normally make them really pretty and have um, pretty b-roll in it and they're normally like soothing and everything. This one is just me sitting down and updating whenever I read a book, maybe once a day. That's not how I do my vlogs. Again, I was really stressed with school and I rarely found time to actually update and you'll see I even didn't even make it the whole week of updating. So uh, <laughs> you'll see. I will be popping back in at the end of this video too wrap up the week for y'all. Also, I wanted to get your opinion on something before the video starts. So I just had like um, my lovely ladies live stream with my lovely friends, Jen and Ashley. I love them so very much. Um, the live show is I believe the last video that's on this channel. Um, we read a book we didn't all really enjoy, but we were talking about other stuff for the majority of the live show. And I said how I really wanted to maybe do Vlogmas, possibly. My favorite YouTuber who is not a booktuber who's also not Jenna Marbles because Jenna Marbles isn't posting anymore, which is really sad. But um, my favorite YouTuber that's not a booktuber, her name is Colleen Ballinger. She's like the actress behind Miranda Sings. Um, but I watch her vlog channel and I love her videos so much. She posts every single day from November 1st till Christmas or even past Christmas. But this whole year she started vlogging in March and she's been vlogging the whole entire quarantine. So I've been watching her through quarantine and she has gotten me through quarantine. I love her videos so much. She's a cute little baby. I just love her. I love her videos, love her family, everything. And I love her Vlogmas videos. And so she vlogs every single day, posts a video every single day up until Christmas. I maybe want to do that starting in December, possibly. I don't know if y'all would be interested in something like that. Like, would y'all actually watch a video, like a vlog, if I posted a vlog every single day? Like, I'm very curious. I would love your opinion. Please let me know down below. But anyways, let's get started with this video. <laughs> hey y'all, what's up? My name is Avery and welcome to my Paranormal Roommates Readathon vlog. Today is actually the second day of the Paranormal Roommates Readathon. Today is Halloween. I did not update at all yesterday. I was super busy and I just didn't feel like updating or getting on camera yesterday. So I didn't do that yesterday, but here I am today, the second day. Um, I have already read one book and I am more than halfway through my second book. By the way, this readathon is a whole week of reading paranormal romances. So this readathon also has like challenges you can do um, and prompts you can fill. If you wanna know my whole TBR and everything, be sure to go check out my TBR video down below all the books that I plan to be reading this week. Yeah, I've already strayed from my TBR, <laughs> but what's new? Literally, I do that every single time I have a readathon. So I've already completed the prompt for Faded Mates. So I have read Untouchable by Presley Cole. This is book number seven in the Immortals After Dark series, and this is a romance between a vampire and a Valkyrie slash ice princess so every single time somebody who's not of like the ice people touches her she is burned and like feels like immense pain and then um one day our hero who's a vampire um sees her and knows that that's his mate but he soon realizes that he can't touch her 
at all. So it's them figuring out how to be together and her not wanting to be together because she knows it'll end in heartbreak because he can't touch her. It was really interesting. I had my, I was like super excited for the beginning of this book. I thought it was gonna be amazing and wonderful. And I don't know, it just like, it didn't live up to my expectations all that much. I think I just wanted more out of it. And the story jumps in timelines a lot. Um, like it'll be one year later, two year, a couple months later, like it just jumps a lot. And I don't really like that. That doesn't really happen a lot in the Cressley Cole books in this series that I've read. Maybe it'll like jump like one time period, but it doesn't jump so often. So that was my main gripe about it is because it just kept jumping in time. If it just took place in one time period, ooh, would it have been great to me, I think. Um, but I still really enjoyed it. I think I'm gonna be giving it a 3.5 out of five stars. I really, really, really love Danny, our heroine in this book. And I really liked the ice princess and everything. I thought that was really cool. Um, she really reminded me of Elsa. <laughs> so um, if you want to read a book that reminds you of Frozen a little bit, not really, she just reminds me of Elsa. So um, if you want to read a book that has a heroine like Elsa, this one's really great. The book that I have, that is not on my TBR, that I'm over halfway done with is Pleasure of a Dark Prince by Cressley Cole. This is the book number eight in the Immortals After Dark series. And this is a romance between a like a werewolf and a valkyrie who is also part huntress and the main conflict here is like he knows they know that they're mates but they can't ever be together because this goddess of the hunt saved our heroine's life when she was 16 and the only way to do that was to give her this hunt the huntress powers but also swear celibacy um so she can't do it at all so uh she can't be with a person at all or else she loses all of her powers and like her main goal in life or her main purpose in life is to protect the world every i think 500 years from this evil force that will destroy the world and she can't do that if she doesn't have her powers it's either give up her powers and <laughs> have a man ruin the world or be with her mate so um i'm over halfway done with that really enjoying this one I just want them to get together already. I want to figure out how they can be together already. Because in each book, there's like a driving force that like makes them not, can't be together, you know, in each of these books. So I'm really enjoying that one. I hopefully will finish it by the end of the day. And then I really want to start Father Mine by um, Jared Ward today. It's the novella prompt. Oh, also that book, the Cressy Cole book, the newer one that I'm re reading right now, I think I'm gonna fill that prompt for have has dark in the title because it does have dark in the title. It's Dark Prince. And I didn't even realize that when I was making my TBR. So I'm switching up that book because the book that I had originally for that prompt is actually a fantasy romance because I couldn't find anything else, but this fits the bill. I'm really excited for this readathon. Um, I love paranormal romance and I love reading it during the spooky season. So I'm just gonna be doing chores and homework and all that fun stuff this Saturday. I don't have any plans on Halloween. <laughs> and my car's in the shop so I can't really go and get Halloween candy and other things that I want to get. So I'm kind of stuck here. <laughs> but you know what? We're gonna read some spooky books on Halloween. That's what I'm going to do to celebrate. So there you go. Hi guys, it is later. Katniss and I were, um, on a walk today and I ended up finishing Pleasure of a Dark Prince by Cressley Cole. I think I'm going to be giving it 4.5 out of 5 stars, possibly. We will see. I like to rate things for the readathon at the end of the readathon, so I guess just get my for sure rating at the end of the video. But I really liked it. This was the romance between I believe a Lyke and a Huntress slash Valkyrie and I really liked it. I really liked the banter and everything. I know this book isn't on my TBR, but I immediately picked up the next book in the series, which is Demon from the Dark by Cressley Cole. The next book in the series. This one is between um, a witch and a demon slash vampire. They're like the most powerful or strong creatures ever now. Our hero here has like um, sexual assault trauma because apparently, because he was a de he was born a demon. Well, demon also in this world isn't like what you think a demon is and like the real world. They're just kind of like supernatural beings that are bigger and taller than normal. They could pass off as humans. They're just bigger and taller than them and they have horns. Um, so a lot of the time they live through the mortal world. They just wear a hat on their head, so. 
they're a demon. And then when they like find their mate or they're really angry, that's when their skin will like turn red. So when he was little, I believe his family sold him to a vampire king and like as a, as a little boy, the king use, used him for multiple things. And so he has some uh, PTSD from it, obviously, but then he was captured by a different vampire later and um, was turned into a vampire. Um, so he's a demon and a vampire, and so he's like the most power one of the most powerful beings. And um, this witch has been tasked to go help capture him because the people who tasked her to do this are like blackmailing her. She like goes to find him and he sees her and knows that that is his mate. I don't think they speak the same language though. So that'll be very interesting because he just tried to talk to her and they don't speak the same language at all because he speaks demonish, which is demon language, and she speaks English. I am, I think only two or three hours into it. I'm gonna be listening to it for the rest of the night and I think I'm going to start um, Father Mine by Jared Ward. It's not this whole chunk ebook. Um, there's a short story about Zeta and Bella from the Black Dagger Brotherhood in this book um, that takes place after book number three. So. I'm gonna be reading that and I'm gonna be doing other stuff. So, and we're gonna be cuddling with Miss Kitty Cat over here. She lives with me now at my apartment, if you couldn't tell. And I love her a lot. <laughs> She's tired though. We had a long, long walk today. So, um, I guess I'll update y'all when I have another update. Hello everyone, it is Sunday night, November the 1st. This vlog is probably just gonna be filled with a bunch of updates. There's probably not gonna be any B-roll now that I think about it. Um, because there's only like four or five more weeks left in the semester. So it's like crunch time. Um, so that's what I've been doing is just schoolwork. But then I also finished today this one, which is Demon from the Dark, which is book number nine. Y'all, this one is like my top three. This one is so good. It's about a witch and um, her romance with a demon slash vampire. He was a demon, um, but then when he was a boy, he was um, sold by his mother um, to a vampire and he used him in horrible ways um he was a blood slave and he was sexually assaulted all before the age of 11 multiple times um like daily it was horrible so his owner turns him into a vampire he's a vampire so he becomes a a vleeman i think that's what, a vemen i think that's what they call it and so he lives on this like demon plane at the end of book like eight there's like a little epilogue where it has nothing to do with the couple from book eight it has to do with um the woman in this book getting kidnapped. So she gets kidnapped, the witch gets kidnapped, and the book opens up with her um, being kidnapped by these humans, I'm pretty sure, and they're like, um, they ended up kidnapping a little girl from her coven, and they ended up killing her mom, and her name is, the little girl's name is Ruby, and um, so now our heroine in the book, that's her like adoptive daughter now because she's the next of kin to take care of her and so they've kidnapped ruby they killed ruby's biological mother these humans tell her that we will let you go and we will let ruby go with you if you go to this demon plane and lure this vampire demon named malcolm because we want to either study him or kill him i don't know and so she does this and uh, turns out they're mates and it was so good like oh it was so really good i really like this one i'm giving this one five stars i love this one you have the virgin hero which i love those <laughs> you have the virgin hero when like i'm calling him a virgin hero because it does not count if you are sexually assaulted by a man constantly before the age of 12. like that does not count he is a virgin they don't speak the same language at first and so there's that barrier there and i honestly love that barrier in books when they don't speak the same language and they have to learn how to communicate through other ways <sighs> love that so i really loved this one it's kind of hard to see the text but it's like iridescent -y orange and i love it it's so pretty so then earlier today i ended up starting 
Fantasy Lover by Sherilyn Kenyon. I know it's not a Cressy Cole Immortals After Dark book. I was like, I need to get on with my TBR. <laughs> it's been a couple days. <laughs> this is gonna fill the prompt for published before 2010. Um, I believe this was in 2002, this one is. Um, I'm around three hours of the way into the 10 hour audiobook. It's very interesting. There's a lot of uh, steamy talk in here. <laughs> so basically our hero on the cover in like 138 BC or something like that, um, he was cursed by a goddess to live in this book for the rest of his life and um, when he's summoned, he's summoned I think only by women possibly, when a woman summons him from this book he is with her, with her, um, for a whole month, the full cycle of the moon. He's there to be with her and that's about it. So our heroine, she lives in 2002. I believe she's a therapist and her best friend, like they become drunk on her birthday and she gives her this book and they like drunkenly like summon him for fun and turns out he actually appears and she doesn't know what the heck to do because she's been burned by men in the past so she's used to men like using her and leaving her so he's basically like I want to like be with you right now and she's like I don't do that I don't get with strangers that's not me you're gonna just leave and I'm not for that and so he's trying to just be like be with me and she's like no and this is the first time a woman has summoned him and she doesn't want him and he's so confused and so she's like just treating him like a normal person and like buying him clothes to wear because he didn't have clothes in this book and like talking to him and having conversations with him instead of doing other things with him and he's so confused and he's like I'm not used to being treated like a person because he's normally treated like just an object for women to use and it's that's so sad and so um i I guess it's their romance together. It's very interesting. I really like the narrator for this book because uh, I believe this takes place in Louisiana. So she has like a cool Louisiana, Louisianian, Southern accent. There you go. <laughs> I'm from the South, but I'm from the urban South. So I don't have that big of an accent. So I just love Southern accents a lot, but I'm really enjoying this. Um, I'm gonna continue listening to it while I get ready for bed and do a couple more assignments before bed and cuddling with Miss Katniss. You can't see her behind me probably, but I'm really enjoying this one. Um, I still have yet to read the Black Dagger Brotherhood novella. Um, I just didn't find the time. It's been so hard to like actually sit down and find time to read. Like I'm just constantly moving and constantly doing things. So it's just convenient to have an audiobook on. The time where I would maybe have time to sit down, I'm like going on a walk with her or like playing with her. And so I'll like put on an audiobook while I walk her and so that's how I'm getting my reading in, you know? So, I have a few other things to do before bed, so I better get started on those things, and I will chat with y'all later with another update. I think the camera is moving right now. Um, <laughs> you're currently sitting on my blinds, so. Uh, good morning, everybody. It is a Monday here, and I'm here with Miss Cat. She's probably gonna get up in a second. She doesn't really like laying on her back sometimes. <laughs> um, but I wanted to give you a little bit of an update because I have an update. So last night I ended up finishing Fantasy Lover by Sherilyn Kenyon. I stayed up very late last night finishing it. I really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. I'm gonna give it four stars. I really liked the mythology aspect of it. I didn't know that there would be like gods and goddesses from like Greek mythology, Greek mythology in here. Um, like our hero is apparently the son of Aphrodite um, and he goes through a lot of trauma because of what he's like put through as I said before like people have all his life treated him as an object and that he's not even a person and so like he's had to go through a lot our heroine helps him with that um so Grace does and she was really sweet and understanding and um I really liked how much she fought for him so I really enjoyed this one I really recommend I don't know if I want to be continuing on with the series I haven't really looked into it yet but I really enjoyed this one so please let me know if the rest of the series is worth it in your opinion I heard some people say that as the series goes on it gets worse I think I heard that so like just please let me know what you think and if you've read the series. So then I started I'm like four percent into Infernal by Lexi Hall. I had a different angel book um for this prompt. It's the angel prompt. Um I wasn't really feeling it and it was like 400 something pages and I was just not 
feeling it. So I believe this one is Haze and Persephone retelling and he's possibly an angel. There's wings on the cover. This is an angel cover so this is gonna feel a prompt for angel romance. So um, I'm only 4% of the way into it and our heroine is a librarian and I believe she's a witch. So I really like that. I'll let you know more about what it's about later on um, because I honestly don't know what it's about. And then I'm going to be starting the next book in the Immortals After Dark series. I really need to read Dearest Ivy by J.R. Ward, the novella that I need to read um, so that I can continue on with the series because I really need to read The Thief, um, which is the next book in the Black Dagger Brotherhood I haven't read yet, but I need to read the novella that takes place before that. So I need to do that possibly today. I have two Black Dagger Brotherhood novellas to read. Um, so I'm excited but we have a bunch of homework to do today we gotta take this one on her walk still today like her long walk we go on a bunch of walks but like around my complex that I'm in but um, for an hour a day I take her and I walk her on the university campus so we still gotta do that today right baby mm -hmm. yeah and I just made my um, you can like set up your schedule for what you want before registration. So when registration happens for next semester, you can just click a button and it'll take the worksheet you made and then pop it into the system and then you'll sign up for classes like that instead of going one by one, sign up for classes. Um, and so I made my schedule for next semester and uh, unfortunately I cannot have her here with me because I will be gone for a while and I can't make her just stay in the apartment by herself for that long like I can't do that to her so she's gonna go back to my parents in January or we're going back for Thanksgiving obviously and then we'll be done because COVID is like because of COVID now like <laughs> once um Thanksgiving hits like you don't go back to school like everything else is online afterward you don't go back so once Thanksgiving hits I am moving back home and um we will be there taking finals and hanging out with everybody yeah i'm going to get dressed probably go take her on a walk i have a qu quizzes to take today assignments to do it's like crunch time guys it's crunch time for school hello everyone i'm currently having a little midnight snack of some peanut butter so i'm also pulling up the books i've been reading on my ipad right here so i can talk to you oh also maybe didn't notice there's not gonna be a video tomorrow which for y'all has already passed it's because um school is honestly insane right now i barely remember to update this vlog um so this vlog may be <laughs> the only content you get for a little while maybe the whole month possibly <laughs> which really sad maybe i'll find time here and there to film something else but i've started some books i have finished some books i finished dreams of a dark warrior by cressley cole that was really good <laughs> i really liked regan's story um i don't even know if i told you what this one is about this one was about regan the radiant who is a valkyrie and she is like the only being known to like glow like she her skin is constantly like shining and like over like a thousand years ago she met a viking named aiden they fell in love but right after they like professed their love and everything aiden was killed and turns out they are all cursed to where aiden will reincarnate once every 200 years to meet the same fate once he kisses reagan he remembers all his past lives and he is doomed to die later that day within 24 hours of her kissing him um so this one is i believe his fifth reincarnation is in this book he's never tried to kill reagan before um but apparently in this lifetime when he was a kid um his family was killed by some mythical beings paranormal creatures and so he's always been out to kill like everything that's a mythical creature so he's in charge of like running a facility that captures and does like medical examinations and kind of like tortures um, mythical paranormal beings um, until one day he captures Reagan he starts to remember stuff that he didn't think he could ever remember and he's going through a lot of things and she's going through a lot of things and it's that whole dichotomy and it's it was really 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 good I think I'm gonna give it five stars 
possibly. I don't know, again, my brain is mush. I don't really have time to think about ratings for books at the moment. I am 55% of the way through Dearest Ivy by J.R. Ward um, because I started this book like over a year ago, read only a little bit of it. I'm past the point where I stopped reading it and so I'm getting new information now and it doesn't look that great. <laughs> like the rest of the book just seems sad and like I want to know what happens but I'm also like dreading knowing what happens but if you've read this book you know I don't know what happens but you probably do but and then I started Queen Takes Queen by I think it's Julie Sue Burkhart the third book a part of the House of Isidore um series this is a vampire romance it's a reverse harem our heroine at the beginning of book one doesn't know that she's a vampire queen and to be able to like get into your queen powers vampire queen powers you have to like have forget the name of it but she has to have a bunch of like people who are blooded and bonded to her and so she has like six guys with her and i think in this one she gets a qu another queen to be like a part of her little harem so i'm like reading this in between classes on zoom so very interesting i don't really know how far the way i am into it because i'm reading it from a boxed set of the both of the six books i'm it's like a 1700 page book because it has all six books in it so i don't know what percentage of the way i am through it then for my audiobook i started the thief by J.R. Ward because i've been dying to read it i'm 45 percent of the way through it oh my gosh this one's really good <laughs> i think it's book number 18? 18 in the series? Possibly? I don't know, it's like the third to last or second to last that's out right now. This one is about a sale in Marisol, which is a couple I've been wanting to read about for a very, 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 very long time. I just want to know what happens to the relationship. Like, since I'm so used to, like, the Immortals After Dark series recently, I forgot that, like, J.R. Ward's books aren't just about the couple. I always forget that for some reason. Like Marisol and Osail are the main couple, but you also have like Jane and V, they're going through stuff. So um, you have that whole section too. And then something about a sister of some dude, like I don't know where we're gonna go with that, but I don't wanna spoil anything. I also forgot like the beginning of this book, like like kind of like does like a brief overview or flashback of what happened to a sale and marisol in like one of the previous books i don't remember which one because it's been over a year since i've read a jr war book like i i forgot about stuff that happened in that book and it's um bad stuff uh bad stuff so um really brought me back <laughs> anyway i'm gonna finish my peanut butter let her out cuddle with her possibly finish Dearest Ivy, we will see. And then I have to get up early tomorrow to go to my only in-person class. I hope y'all are having a great readathon, or have already had a great readathon, whatever. The video's already gonna be posted. I'm very tired. I have so many assignments to complete. Ah. Hello, it's me again. Um, I am going to be talking about the wrap-up portion of this vlog. I love how my last cup, I believe, was on a Tuesday. <laughs> Um, and the readathon lasted until I believe Saturday or Friday. School is honestly insane right now. Last night I just finished one of my final projects for the term so I can finally like breathe, you know, because that's what I was mainly doing. I really loved this readathon. I love paranormal romances so, so much. Um, and I really wanted to participate anyway though. So I loved it. Thank you so much to the host for putting on this readathon. I loved it very much. So I'm going to be wrapping up everything that I read in that week. Some of them I didn't even talk to you about. <laughs> so I'm gonna be talking to you about right now. So we're gonna be talking about first the books that I actually completed. I completed and read eight books in the week, which is great. But all of them, besides one possibly or two, were audiobooks. So that's where I got the majority of my reading when I was walking my dog, listening to an audiobook. So the first one that I read is Untouchable by Cressley Cole. This is book number seven in the Immortals After Dark series. I ended up giving this one 3.5 out of 5 stars and this fills the prompt for Faded Mates. Then I read Pleasure of a Dark Prince by Cressley Cole. This is book number eight in the Immortals After Dark series and it fills the prompt for dark in the title and I believe I gave this four out of five stars. Then I read Demon from the Dark by Cressy Cole book number nine in the Immortals of the Dark series. This doesn't necessarily fill a prompt but um I still loved it, still read it. I gave this one five out of five stars. Then I ended up reading 
Fantasy Lover by Sherilyn Kenyon, and I gave this one four stars. This is the first book in the Hunter Legends series, and this still a prompt for a book published before 2010. Then I ended up reading Dreams of a Dark Warrior by Cressy Cole, and this is book number 10 in the Immortals of the Dark series. This did not fill a prompt, and I ended up giving this one a five out of five stars. Then I ended up completing reading The Thief by J.R. Ward. This is book number 16 in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series, and this is going to be filling the prompt for vampire romance and I ended up giving this one a four out of five stars. Then I ended up reading Dearest Ivy by J.R. Ward, book number 15.5 in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series, and this is gonna fill the prompt for novella for me. And I also ended up giving this one a four out of five stars. I think maybe more of a 3.75. That's being very specific though. <laughs> and then I ended up reading a book that I didn't even talk to y'all about, and that is Lothair by Cressy Cole. This is book number 11 in the Immortals of the Dark series, and this does not fill a prompt, and I ended up giving this one four out of five stars. This one was really interesting. It was a vampire romance. He, Lothair, that's the hero vampire in this story, and he is called the enemy of old. He's like a really, really, really old vampire. He finds his mate in a sorceress, but she is like born into other people's bodies. And so he sees her in this woman's body, and he thinks his mate is a sorceress when actually his mate may be the human woman she is inside of. So it was really interesting. I didn't really like that aspect of it because I didn't like the three person, not really three person, but like, I just wished it would have been the human in him some of the time. I didn't really want the sorceress in there. And then I'm still currently reading three of the books that I talked about in this vlog. I'm still currently reading Father Mind by J.R. Ward. This whole book, again, is not Father Mind. Father Mind is maybe like that much of this book. Um, this is the Black Dagger Brotherhood Insider's Guide, I forgot to tell you. I haven't read anything in here but before this. See, here's my little bookmark. This is, again, the novella between Zetas and Bella, right after book number three. I was about to give a spoiler. <laughs> I'm not going to. But yeah, it's about what happens after book three, if you know what happens at the end of book three. I am like still like halfway through it. I don't know why I can't pick it up to save my life. Like, I want to read it so badly. I'm just not in the mood at all to read physical books, like at all, um, which stinks because I know I'm going to have to literally any day now. I have a book I need to read physically. Reading a book physically at the moment just does not appeal to me, but I really want to read that book. But I am halfway through it, so I've made progress. Then I am also currently reading Queen Takes Queen by Jolie Sue Burkhart. I'm pretty sure I'm over halfway done with this one. Um, again, this is a part of a bind up set I have on my Kindle. So all six books that are currently out right now are in this bind up that I got for free off Kindle. But like, it tells you your progress you've made throughout all of the books put together, like the 1,700 page count. And so I don't know how far I am of the way into it for just book number three. Again, this one's a vampire romance, reverse harem. I'm really enjoying it. These books, I don't think I could ever binge these books. The last time I read this, a book in this series was I think like either way back in January or like last year in 2019. For some reason, like they're not the type of books that I wanna binge. I get really overwhelmed by the world and the world building. Um, it's kind of really hard for me to grasp at points because there's so many names and so many people and so many terms. So it's a little overwhelming for me, but um, I'm slowly chugging my way through this one. Whenever I updated you about Infernal by Lindsay Hall, I said I was like 2% of the way into it. That has not changed. <laughs> I think I maybe read one chapter and uh, that's it. Uh, I find that angel romances maybe just aren't my thing. I've realized I've watched so many reading vlogs for the Paranormal Romance Readathon. It's been like over a week since the readathon has ended and everyone's already posted their videos. I realized a lot of people feel the same way. Like angel romances just aren't really their thing. I love the idea of an angel romance, but a lot of the ones that I've found are super long. Like why can't there be like a fun, like you know how there's like little fun vampire or witch novel I want a fun angel little novella, which I have not found. They're all like over 300 pages. I don't understand why. Ebooks that are over 300 pages don't do it for me. I can't do that. I don't know why. I can read like a 600 page physical book. I can't do it for an ebook. Don't know why. So there you have it. Those are all of the books that I ended up completing and not completing in the Paranormal Romance Readathon. Sorry for this very anticlimactic er unentertaining is that a word unentertaining not entertaining vlog <laughs> i have a bunch of videos planned for the rest of the year so please stay tuned i'm very excited to post all of them please let me know down below if you have read any of these books 
or if you plan to. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye. <laughs>